I'll do mongrels. It's Saturday, and that means it's camp day. Woo, love the weekends. Uh, have to be a bit stealthy at the moment because some muppet not so long back managed to set fire to one of the forests over here. Wasn't me, promise. Um, so they're keeping a bit of a close eye on it. Now, luckily, uh, the place I'm going, I know it's very secure. It's Camp Nobby, basically, even though I've dismantled it all. So we'll have a look. As you might be able to see behind me, it's just about to get howling. So I need to get to camp quick, get my tarp up, so at least I've got somewhere dry to set the rest of my kit up. Yeah, see you then. What's that lurking in the woods? Is it a bear pulling its put? Oh no, it's Nobby on the prowl again. Scratching his back against a tree, then digs a ditch and bends both knees to squat above it, dumping wild and free. Nobby, 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 Nobby. Pop man and pop beast to cook a roll, kill feast for you. Nobby, Nobby, Nobby. You can find him in the woods, gonna wonder what he's up to. Surprise the hammer takes that way, yeah, he's no oil painting, that's for sure. And he don't suffer fools at all, he's got a friend with just one body. Down we know he loves us all, but we never let it show. Nobby, 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 Nobby. Pop man and pop beast to cook a roll, kill feast for you. Nobby, Nobby, Nobby. You can find him in the woods, gotta wonder what he's up to. Quick look at me set up. DD free by free tarp set up in the most awkward manner you could think of, mainly because of that tree there. But it's high enough so I can have a little fire underneath it because it is going to howl down. Howl down? I ain't even a saying it's going to hammer down later. Inside, I have my one ounce homemade hammock with my little net and stuff on it, and my one tigress double hammock under quilt which as we know works a treat it shouldn't get too cold today um still lots of movement about i came out early because of the bloody weather and i didn't want to get stuck in the rain but um yeah as you could read by that sign i showed you earlier because some herbert set a fire set a fire set fire to the forest um they're coming down pretty hard on it this is way out of the way and it's in a part of the woods that isn't normally used the big forest over the road, the car park was rammed. Right, it's still a bit light. All my kit's set up, with the exception of sleeping bag and stuff like that. I can't really have a fire to start a cup of coffee or anything like that. I've not bought any stoves apart from wood burning stoves. Because I wanted to get here light and yeah, can't really risk it. I'm gonna toddle off now and go prep some wood and stuff like that. Um, one thing I do want to show you, if uh, you watched my last video out in the woods with Johnny, you might have seen um, him cack himself because Sank was snuffling around camp. Um, 
So I've tried to think of ways that I could prevent that from happening again. So what I've done, I'll, I'll show you, it'll be easier. Um, on this game trail, I've set something up so that hopefully it will avoid any critters coming into camp. So what will happen is, I'll give you a critter's eye view of it. Boom, honey monster. Now, I know that that would definitely stop me coming into camp, but it might get Bigfoot a little bit aroused, you never know. Anyway, I'm proper waffling shizzle now, and I, I need to go get some wood. I'll see you in a bit. something else I'm trying out is a new little catapult design I'm gonna start making them out of ply like so not sure if you can see I've set up a can from the rubbish place that I found over there about 10 yard away um, haven't shot it yet so let's see how she goes I'd say she works. Right, two what I can do while I'm here, while I'm waiting for it to darken down a bit. I've got set torch to try out. And as you know, I don't do that sort of crap, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, it's called a Soften something LR25. I'll put all the gubbins down below so you can see it. It is, let me have a quick look here. 3,800 lumen on its turbo mode and one lumen when it's on its moon mode. Now it's got all different sorts of settings, which I'm not gonna run into. You can have a look, I'll tell you them, um, but I'm not gonna show you them. Very easy to use, double click is bright as hell. One click turns it on, hold it, it goes up gradually, hold it again, it goes down gradually. Now some of the settings it has got, it's got a sunset mode, so it starts off dim and gradually gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer down to moon mode. That lasts for an hour, then it turns itself off, so you can hang it up and go to kip. Lovely job waterproof up to two meters some of the, some of the features they have put on it which i don't know why it's got a candle mode so it flickers like a candle and you can set the time for how long that goes and it's got a lightning mode so the intensity varies and the flashes vary with different times great for scaring your kids i reckon um one thing that i love and hate all at once is i'm not sure if you can see that the button that you push to turn it on and off constantly glows a light green now when i charged it up at home and left it it was fine for over a week and it still works absolutely great it means that you never lose your torch and when you go to turn it on you're not cocking around looking for the button which i love i just don't like the fact that it's constantly using battery the battery it uses is the bigger one like so 
so it should last a lot longer than the little O-lights that you get. When it gets a bit darker, I'll show you it working. I've got to say, it's built really well, and um, I've been impressed with it so far. They've given me a link down below. If you click on it and want to have a look, they're giving us 20% off or something. Um, I don't know a lot, great deal about them, but it's so far a good torch. It's bigger than the O-light as well, which I like. As you know from my review of the O-light, yeah, really weren't that impressed with it, uh, the size. And the other thing that's really good with this, it's a USB-C charger. So that means that my GoPro, my phone, and my torch can all be charged with the same lead. So I don't need to take a load of leads into the uh, Ulu. Who don't like that? So yeah, the Sofern. It is a Sofern IF25A. Run times and that last forever on moon mode. It doesn't actually tell you what it does. Um, but I'll tell you what, it's that bleeding bright. It'll make a blind man blink. It is... Yeah, 3,800 lumens. Don't know why you would need that much. The other downside to it, they've tried to be really helpful and not just give you directions on how to use it with words, which are translated pretty well from Chinese, but not 100%. They've also given you a diagram. Now, I don't think I'm that thick, but it ain't the easiest thing to follow. I sort of figured it out from it, but yeah, it's also got a temperature mode on it, which I can't quite understand the point in it. You can set it up in room temperature, press some buttons and it calibrates itself to that room temperature. And then when it gets to a certain temperature, it turns off or some crap. I don't know. It's a torch, bleeding bright torch, well-made torch. I think they retail at about 38 quid, so slightly cheaper than the Olight. Um, brighter than the O-Lite. Everything else is the same as the O-Lite, apart from the stupid magnetic bleeding charger thing, which ain't the best, because magnets kill your compasses, we all know that. And, you know, you break that, you bug it to charge it. USB-C. So, give them a look. Give them a look. I've been impressed so far. I'll show you it a light later, because it is bloody bright. Yeah, that uh, that was warm as well from there. Hey ho, if me plums get a tad warm, uh, cold later, I can <whistles> damn me cacks. Look like a glow worm, I will. A little glow worm. Yeah, so it's great to be back down here, actually. I um, ain't been to Camp Nobby in ages, and it ain't actually saturated, which I thought it would be, because we've had days' worth of storms, but I think it's safe to say other people are using it as well now, or have been, should I say. Um, why leave it like it? Dunno, I've had a little clear up of some blue paper, that, and to be fair, that blue paper I found where I had the old wigwam, so that's me. So I'll pick that up, I'll burn that away. But yes, yeah, a lovely, quiet little spot. Right in the dip. And this side of the forest, as I said earlier, ain't used, which is a bonus. It's just a shame where it's in a basin, it gets so bloody wet. Nice and peaceful though. There are animal runs all around here, and every time I've been here, you've had something run through, which is fine, you know. I'm not a Jesse. Um, don't see many pigeons though. It'd be nice to get a couple of pigeons with a catapult to stick on the fire. Oh yeah, pigeon pie. It's meant to hoy it down. And up there is all beautiful blue skies. I've been lucky with camps recently. I haven't had a wet one in God knows how long. I can't believe I'm actually wanting to have a wet camp. We'll see how it goes, won't we? Solo camping. How to look mad in the middle of the woods talking to yourself. Still bugs about and all, what's all that about? Better spray up. 
don't suck for a view does it got my little wood burning stove down there some uh, snapped up little twigs there to cook on tonight I shall be feasting on a um, teriyaki chicken stir fry prepared it all at home see how that goes you know I love my steak on a fire but from time to time you've got to cook up in you got sausages for the morning hmm sausages and what I have got today just to help me start off because everything is pee wet through in here is just some cat litter that has been soaked in meths so I'll sprinkle a little bit of that underneath that'll get going it burns for ages on with the twigs boosh little hack these things do tend to leak a little bit though if you put a little bit too much meths in them but there you go your fire started you're gonna eat you're gonna stay warm waffling like buggery today it's folding up a bit which is to be expected i suppose buggered that right up ain't i there we go right plenty of that in really cheap and get a light up make sure I'm not going to melt me bleeding tarp eh Why is it, no matter how many times you bleed and go camping, you never get used to smoke in the face? While we're having this and all, a big shout out to Burton Outdoors. I love your vids, mate. And, you know, I think I've only ever mentioned you a few times and you deserve a damn sight more mentions, that is. Oh. Right. Cool bag, check me out. I'm turning into a right old tart. Can't beat the old captain. What we got here? There's the veg, there's the chicken. And that's probably my wife laughing at me because it's just about to hoy it down with rain. Only naff cafe tonight. The percolators and all that are good. But they take up room. Same as your oil lamps. You don't want to watch water boil. I'll bring you back when the meat's on the go. There you go. Bleeding nightmare trying to keep that thing alight. And it's easy. Safe to say, the rain is in. And I think my uh, stove just popped open at one side. I hope that don't all fall down because that'll proper suck. Anyhow, looks like there's a fingerprint on there. Food's just about to go on because that water's just about boiled. That's been a nightmare to keep going. Oh, smoke in me face. First part of the stir fry's on. Give that a couple of minutes and I'll add the, uh, the veg and sauce after. Nom 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 nom. 
So, in goes spring onion, red peppers. This is bleeding bad, guys. Wood is so wet. It's having a mare staying dry. No, staying alight. We can't speak proper England. Looking alright, isn't it? I know what you're thinking, that'll give him the shits, and you could well be right. Another four minutes, five minutes, add the sauce, and I'm golden. Nice easy meal, would have been a damn sight easier if the wood weren't pea wet through, but we're burning again. Oh yeah, all sticky and lovely like. Yep, I'm happy with that. And so a few more minutes. There you go, look. Try and give this bad boy a try. Mmm. I always say it after I've cooked something up. I should do it more often. I should definitely do it more often. Oh, smoke's killing me. Bloody delicious though. Oh, before I forget, um, thank you to everyone that has subscribed and making me at that 5,000 sub mark. I don't believe no how it happened. Fat lad waffling in the woods, as I say, on every single bid. Um, if you want to go to my community tab, there's a poll up to let you vote on what camp I'm should do next. Um, the four choices are She's Tippy Mark 2, another homemade canoe, um, a hike and wild camp, uh, multi dayer, uh, a wild camp with brown bled. If any of you haven't seen my wife, she's funny as hell. Um, you never know, you might get a bit of in the woods when you ain't looking. And yeah, the fourth option is don't really care, do what you like. Um, yeah, pop over. Say hello. If you ain't liked and subscribed and all that sort of shit, do it. Because, you know, I'm a fucking joy. Anyhow, no one likes listening to people eat. I'm going to get stuck in, leave this out in the rain to clean itself off a bit. Yeah, crack a beer or three. Good health. So, just to show you briefly, look. That is moon mode, only lights up pretty much the uh, immediate vicinity in front of you. And then a couple of clicks. There weren't so many trees, apparently you can see up to 400 meters with it, according to their website, but yeah, it's pretty bleeding bright. Good torch, really good torch. Have a look, as I say, um, 20% discount on it. I don't get anything from each sale or anything like that. They sent it to us. I said I'd have a look. I told them if it's shite, I'll tell you it's shite. At the moment, it's doing a good job. There you go, look. Incremental down. Till you get back to moon mode. And that's me shining right in front of me now with moon mode and you can't see squat. Really good. 
well it's about half nine now and um yeah it's been raining solidly for a good three three and a half hours hammering it down so yeah i've got my wish i've had a little bit of a lull in it now as you can hear what i have noticed though where are we where are we these uh tie out points on the tarp do let in water not the M ones or top ones even because they're seam sealed but I ain't had it that long the DD tarp so I ain't, I ain't getting wet or anything they're on the edges of the tarp but good to know isn't it Ooh, I've had a few beers it's a little bit nippy from in my DOS bag just watching crap on YouTube headphones on might have an early night yeah it's coming in again it has been chucking it down <laughs> love it I'll chuck my stove out in the rain as well kill all the embers don't want any CO2 not CO2 carbon dioxide don't want any of that stuff in here I know I'm pretty well ventilated but even so Better safe than sorry, kids. Well, hopefully, my uh, Gemma thing will work and I shouldn't get anyone coming and nibbling on my arsehole. Till the morning, unless something exciting happens. Ta-ra! Yes, it's definitely one of the wettest nights I've had in a long time. There we go. I wanted it. I love the sound of rain on a tarp. Which begs the question, now that we're coming into winter months, how many of you guys out there still go out and do your camping? Do you change the sort of camping you do? Or do you just plod on regardless? Let us know below. I still go out. Maybe not every week, but at least once a month. I must really hate my kids to want to go and lay in the rain. <laughs> I don't, kids, if you're watching. I love you. Still being a proper chilled one today. Not being able to get out of the hammock. It's always good. Got here early, put my feet up. Lovely job. Just what the doctor ordered. Should really try and get my head down, I reckon. <sighs> Up relatively early. Not sure if I'm going to bother cooking breakfast. Might just get back home. Not going to fry up there. It's going to be a ball's ache getting a fire alight. And it don't get light now till about seven, half seven. Don't really want too many people walking about. Farm lighting fires. <sighs> Anyhow, we'll definitely be seeing you in the morning now. Good night. Morning. Well, it was half past five. I'm going to have a little doze for a bit, I think, still. Slept all right. A little bit of a break in the weather now. So I don't know whether to actually get up and start packing up we'll just uh wait give it an hour wait for the sun to come up do it in the light i'm easy of way to be honest can't really be asked trudging around in all this wet in the in the dark but there you go see you in mo so that's the end of another night it was a howling night proper rainy proper windy uh, the sun is starting to come up now, but as you can see, it's still pretty dark with the way I've got my torch on. All cleared up, no trace left, scattered everything. Even went down to the fire pit that someone else had used, tidied all that up, picked up their trash. Um, I've got a load of stuff to carry out, so my hands are going to be full on the way out. The lovely Miss Collins done her job last night, no critters came in. One night with Collins. Uh, yeah. So... Unless I fall down a bleeding hole and break my leg and you want to see me scream, I reckon that's about it until next time. Ta-da! You bunch of mongrels.